you'll know exactly what it's like to be each other. Mm. Are you kidding? <laughs> I just start the Dane review already. Hello everyone, this is Ben Moss, and I'm just gonna come right out of it. I despise Starlight Glimmer, and an episode focusing on her trying to fix a problem, this is where my little rants might come here and there in this review. So with that said, be prepared to hear me ranting on this character. But I'm surprised that they're making an episode that's going to focus on both Princess Luna and Celestia of all characters. We finally get an episode that has Celestia in an entire episode instead of making a little bit of a cameo appearance, thank god. So with that said, let's begin the review. So the map calls to Starlight Glimmer to go fix the problem in Canterlot with the sisters. So Starlight learns that both Celestia and Luna have been stressed out and to a point where they go at each other's throats. Which I can understand why they are stressed out because they are both have busy duties. Like Luna being the princess of the night, attending to every pony and pony veil, making sure their nightmares won't control them. And Princess Celestia make, doing her duty of making sure that Equestria stays peaceful in other kingdoms and continents. And where the princesses lash at each other's throats and letting out their stress to one another, I really think this is a good way to show their character development. Like, sewing Celestia is not this kind-hearted princess that we all know, but instead she's this sarcastic and rude and very reckless princess, which... This is kind of a good character development. And Princess Luna being asleep all day, being the princess of the night, she gets a little grumpy at times and even lashes out at Celestia, which I can understand that. And I'm not the only one that could agree with why Luna is stressed out or let alone why Princess Celestia herself is stressed out at times. And to be honest, I really don't see why Princess Twilight has to interfere with Starlight Glamour trying to fix the problem. Like, if you trust your student, you should not be like stalking your apprentice. You need to have full trust that your pupil could succeed and make her own decisions. But how does Starlight Glimmer fix the problem? She freaking switches their cutie marks and their powers. Are you... No, 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 no. I don't care. I don't care if you all hit the dislike button. I'm sorry, but did Starlight Glimmer learn a dang thing? Did she not learn anything from what happened with her previous season finale or the season premiere on season 6? Now, before you all hit the comment sections and asking, but Ben, don't you understand why she did it? Or do you not understand that it's okay for them to have their power switch? It gives them an understanding of each other's hooves for one day? Which, I understand that. I do understand why Starlight Glimmer had this idea of helping Luna and Celestia understand one another, which, that's awesome. But how she did it, though, was the wrong way. So, I'm sorry, but she needs to use her head next time. I'm sorry. Use your head. Please, Starlight Glimmer. Is that difficult? So, Princess Luna, not having any social skills whatsoever, has to spend an entire day having to deal with society. And I like how this episode shows the consequences of her lack of social skills. And which is okay, which I will admit, in this nightmare scene, I have to admit, this scene actually gave me humongous goosebumps and a chill down my spine with but the teeth falling out was a little bit not necessary, but I can understand what they're trying to do with this scene. And for Princess Celestia doing Luna's role with her doing the job of attending everyone's dreams and- Whoa, wait a second, what? Uh, should that be a good thing or a bad thing? Because I think that's pretty awesome. A anyways I really like the scene with Princess Celestia's alternate persona, Daybreaker, and oh my god, this character design is, oh my god, it is awesome. And I admit, this would make a great what if story if Princess Celestia was the one that turned evil thousands of years ago and not Princess Luna. That would actually make a great what if story. That's right, all you fanfiction writers out there, get to work. And the battle between Nightmare Moon and Daybreaker is OMG epic. Please make a fan video about this, YouTubers. Come on. And also, I like to see a side of Celestia being vulnerable, which this is kind of rare to see in the show, and rare to see of Celestia being vulnerable. And how Luna helps Celestia resolve the problem makes their bond and character development so much appreciated. And that's why I love this episode. 
And now, I have to point out some flaws that made me want to scratch my head, like, why was the photographer taking the photo of Luna's gloomy face? Is he trying to make Luna ruin the field trip? Is he trying to make Luna look bad in front of Equestria or Ponyville? And one thing I want to state is how can the map call on Starlight Glimmer? Does it have a mind of its own? Why not ask the uh, main six to fix the problem? But let's just see what the future holds on if this map has a mind of its own or whatever. Now, I will say that Twilight is not a very good character or side character in this episode. She makes Starlight Glimmer feel even more guilty instead of helping her, and her obsession with her teacher wanting to know about what happened in every detail, it, I'm sorry, that should not be in this episode at all. She should have full trust with Starlight Glimmer to make the right decision, which she clearly didn't in this episode, and let her grow as a character. All in all, this episode is great, the plot is wonderful, the art style and animation is perfect, and I love how this hand episode handled with Luna and Celestia's character development. And I can't wait to see future episodes with these two. And let alone, this episode is worth looking into. I am Ben Massa, may the force be with you all, and have a good day.